Hey, hey, Cindy Lou coming at you live from New Zealand. Yes. Well, I need to create a logo. And I had said that I was going to do a video that um, showed you how to make the logo on a transparent background. So I thought I would combine the two things. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will take me. And you are feel free to go ahead and... Uh, watch what you can and come back and watch it later skip around it doesn't really matter um, how long you're here as far as me I'm going to go ahead and continue to do my work I'm sharing this with you I don't know why because I want to I guess and I want to show you that you can be creative that there's nothing unique and special about a creative journey it's and it's a journey every creation that I take part on whether it's writing whether it's drawing whether it's creating graphics on on line taking photos it's all a journey to find and discover what it is i can see from my perspective and putting together things that i like and i love together and i just know when it comes together where it's at so i'm going to do it in design with a blank canvas Alrighty, this is going to be primarily a text graphic. So I'm going to text. Actually, before I do that, I better put some color on the back. Um, oh, transparent canvas. That might be kind of hard to um, see. You know, that'll work. Transparent canvas, that's fine. Apply. So that is how easy it is in PicMonkey to put a transparent background. How simple is that? PicMonkey used to be free and then had some paid things. PicMonkey's recently changed and now that's, um, there's a fee for the year, but it's still under uh, just under $10 a month. And if you pay for the whole year, I think there's even a discount. Get a couple months for free or something. Um, if you need a graphics program, it's a great one to use. I don't at this point have an affiliate. I may at some point in the future have one if you'd like me to get that before um, so that you can bless me and go through my link. That'd be great. I will do that. Just let me know. Um, ooh, so, 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 so I want to get something that has, um, Handwriting, sans serif, that's what I want to look here. Sans serif, serif, handwriting. Those are the ones I want. Script, maybe. Mm. Script, yeah. Because it's about painting, and so I want to find a script that kind of shows paint. Um, that looks kind of like paint strokes. Yep, so that's what I'm doing. JR. Oh, that's kind of like paint strokes. I'm gonna do one at a time. Putting it in one at a time. Oops, capitalizing. Now, I want to make that larger. Let's make the, making that smaller. Yeah, it might be kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing because of the transparent background. Hmm. So, do I like that J? I'm not too sure I do. I don't think that, I guess it sort of looks like a J. Ooh, I think I like that better. Mm, to do, see what I'm doing here? I'm just making it smaller and then going larger. Well, that's, I think we'll also go with that swish. Yeah, I am liking those. J R. J 
making it so that it's a little bit bigger. Kind of like the overlap. Oh, that's kind of like them together. Oh, nice. Paint strokes together. See how you just kind of play with it. And then pencil peat, maybe. Ooh, I need a bolder one. That is not going to be bold enough. What do we think? Hmm. I kind of like that. Kind of liking that, just kind of sticking that in there. That's my thought passes process. So it's kind of like a pretty much a square. Then we can group these all together. Select them all. Can I group them in this program? I don't know if I can group them together. I don't know if I've ever tried that, making them a group, because I want to, oh, flatten the image. Ooh, I can do that. But before I do that, let me save it to the hub. They are, I don't want to lose it. Okay, save. Unfortunately, I cannot see if you are writing any comments. I will check the comments after and respond back to them. If you're watching this on the replay, hit, I mean, yeah, type. <laughs> type in hashtag replay. Then I know you're watching it on the replay. So there we go. I have created this one. Now I want to. Um, saved it with editable layers and now I'm going to flatten it. Now I can choose this layer. Ooh, that didn't work. Undo. Because what I really want to do is to select them all together. Hmm. I want to be able to make them. I don't know if I can do that in here. Well, what font do we have here? Antonio and Bilbo. All right, well, I'm going to go and create the same thing in Photoshop and come back here and put it up here for you so that you can, then I'll do the next part, which is creating the logo with a transparent background. For right now, canvas color. I just wanted to show that to you with the white all in the background so you could kind of see it. And I wanna thank you for tuning in and watching this. And if you've watched all the way to here, I just want you to put a one in there, just so I know that somebody's watched it to the very end and if nobody does that's cool too um i thank you if you have this is cindy lou helping you to awaken creativity within you i'm really excited to be sharing my creative processes with you have a great day ta-ta